Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in today's video, we are going to understand how to create social media posts using Google Generative AI. So in this automation, I'm going to tell you that how you can create posts using Google Generative. So in the Google Sheet, my objective is that whenever I'm going to add the title for the post along with the image URL, then by using Google Gemini, I wish to generate the captions for the same. So once the caption is generated for the post, I wish to share that post on my different social media handles. So here I'm going to share this post on my Facebook page and on my Instagram account you can use other social media platforms too. So if you want to learn more about this, follow me through the screen. In this video, we are going to understand how to create social media posts using Google Generative AI. So in a Google Sheet, I've created two columns. One is for the post title and the second is of image link. So here my objective is that whenever in a new row, I'm going to add the post title and the image link, then by using Google Gemini, the caption should be generated for the same. And once that is done, I wish to create it as a post on my Facebook page and as well as on my Instagram account. So now to automate this entire process, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. So as an existing user, I'm going to sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and every month you will get 100 tasks for free. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. So now this here is the all applications page by Pabli Connect. So here I will click on access now to reach my dashboard. In the meanwhile, subscribe to our channel. So this here is my dashboard and now in order to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. So now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name. So here I've named it as create social media posts using Google generative AI. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders which I've created before. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Gemini automation because this is an automation related to Gemini. So here I'm going to click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pabli Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Action is an automated response of our trigger application and in our workflow, we can only have one trigger but multiple action applications. So now moving to my use case, that is to create social media posts using Google Generative AI. So now here in Pabli Connect, I will go to my trigger window and as I'm adding the details of the post in a Google Sheet. So here Google Sheet will be my trigger application and here it is. And the trigger event will be new or updated spreadsheet row. So now moving to my action window, as by using Google Generative AI, I'm going to generate the captions for the post. So here Google Generative AI will be my action application and the action event will be to generate content. So once the content is generated, I wish to share that content on my Facebook page. So here in this action window, I'm going to search for Facebook page as my action application. And the action event will be to create page photo post. And as I also want to save the create post on my Instagram account as well. So here I'm going to use Instagram for business and I'm going to publish the photo. So here, as you can see that I have selected my action applications and the trigger application along with their respective events. So my objective is to create social media posts using Google Generative AI. So here in this trigger window, you can see that a web book URL is given and along with that a help desk is given. So read this help desk given below carefully because this web book URL will act as a bridge to connect your Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. So now I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet. So here you can see that this is the Google Sheet that I've created by the name of social media post and it consists of two columns, the post title, image link and only of one sheet. So my objective is that whenever in a new row, I'm going to add the post title and the image link. Then by using Gemini, the caption should be generated for that post and then it should be shared on my respective social media handles as well. So firstly, to build a connection between Pabli Connect and this Google Sheet, I will go to extensions and make sure you should have this Pabli Connect Webbooks extension. So if you don't have it, you can simply go to get add-ons. And over here in the search apps, you just have to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. Here it is. So as you can see that I've already installed this extension. So it says installed. You also have to follow the same process to build a connection. So as the extension is already installed and now to build a connection, I will again go to extensions, go to Pabli Connect Webbooks and now I will go to initial setup. So here in initial setup, it says 
The webhook URL will be set up on the below selected sheet that is sheet 1 and it only consists of one sheet. So now moving to the webhook URL and the trigger column. So here from Paply Connect, I'm going to copy the webhook URL and I'm going to paste the same over here. And now moving to the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to Paply Connect. So here B is my final column. So B will be my trigger column. So as I've mentioned the webhook URL and a trigger column, I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that the setup has been configured successfully. So now I'm going to close this. So as the setup was configured, so moving ahead, I will again go to extensions, again go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and click on send on event. It is a very important step to click on send on event because by clicking on send on event, you will make sure that whenever in a new row you are going to add the details, then those details will be sent to Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on send on event. Once I've done that, it is important for me to refresh the page. So I'm going to refresh the page. So now in this new row, I'm going to add a post title and the image link. So here is the post title as tasty cakes at bakery. And here is the image link. So now these details would have been captured in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to take you to Pabli Connect. And over here, you can see that I have received a response. So over here, you can see the trigger column, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, post title. And this here is the image link. So as in Pabli Connect, I have got the details successfully. So the first objective of this automation is setup. That means now whenever in a new row in that Google Sheet, I'm going to add the details, then automatically those details will get captured over here in Pabli Connect. So this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time. So as I've got the post title and the image link, so over here by using Google Generative AI, I wish to generate the captions for that post. So here in order to do that, I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I need to mention an API key. So read the instruction given below carefully because this instruction will help you to get the API key. So over here it says, to obtain the API key, log into the Google AI Studio and go to the API key section. So from this hyperlink, I will go to the Google AI Studio and over here, I've already signed in. So now to get an API key, I will go over here to get API key and I'm going to create an API key. So here in this existing project, I'm going to create an API key. So the project will be Pabli testing and I'm going to create an API key in this existing project. So here you can see that our API key is generated. I'm going to copy the same and now I will go to Pabli Connect and here I'm going to paste it. So after mentioning the API key, I'm going to click on save. So here you can see that Google Generative AI and Pabli Connect is connected. So now moving to the text over here, I'm going to give a prompt that will be write a caption in 80 words on the topic so over here i'm going to mention the topic from the response which i have received from google sheets so basically i'm going to map it mapping means to insert the data from previous steps so as i've received the response from google sheets so here i'm going to map it so now moving to the model so the model will be the model gemini pro and the method will be to generate content so as i've mentioned the prompt so here i'm going to click on save and send test request so this here is the caption that is successfully generated by using Google Gemini. So as the caption is successfully generated for the post, now I wish to create a post on my Facebook page and Instagram account. So in order to do that here, I need to establish a connection between Facebook pages and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. And now to add a new connection, I will simply click on connect with Facebook pages. I've opened my page in one of the tabs. So here the authorization was successful. So here you can see that Facebook pages and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. Now moving to the page part. So this here is the Facebook page that I've created by the name of more than bakery. So in this page, I want to create a post. So in Pabli Connect from this page drop down, I'm going to search for my page as more than bakery. Here it is. And now moving to the photo URL. So again, from the response received, I'm going to map it. 
So over here, this is the URL and I've mapped it. Now I'm going to map the description. So in description, I'm going to map the caption. So once I've mapped these details, this method of mapping is important so that every time you're going to receive a new response, so that new response could be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information could have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received a new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So as I've mapped the details over here in these fields, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And over here, you can see that I have received a response and this here is a positive response. That means a post would have been created on my Facebook page. So now I'm going to take you to my Facebook page and over here, I'm going to scroll down. And here you can see that a new post is successfully created just now. So over here is the caption for the post and this here is the image. So now moving back to Pabli Connect as this action step was a successful one. Now I want to create the same post on my Instagram account as well. So in order to do that, I need to establish a connection between my Instagram account and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to click on connect. And in order to add a new connection, I will simply click on connect with Instagram for business. I've already opened my account in one of the tabs. So here the authorization was successful. So Pabli Connect and Instagram for Business is successfully connected and this here is my account. So now again moving to these details of photo URL and the caption. So again from the response received, firstly I'm going to map the photo URL and now I'm going to map the caption from Google Gemini. So here I've mapped it. So as I've mapped the details in these fields, so now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here I have received a response and this is also a positive one. So now I'm going to take you to my Instagram account. So this here is my Instagram account feed and this is a new post which is just now created. So here you can see the caption and here is the image for the post. So this automation is a successful one. That means now whenever in a Google Sheet, I'm going to add the details for the post title and the image link, then automatically by using Google Generative AI, the captions for the post will be generated and automatically it will be shared on my Facebook page and Instagram account. Here you can add other social media platforms as well. As of now, I only want to post on my Facebook page and Instagram account. So this automation was a successful one. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at And if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com. If you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.